first of all, let's have a look at the statement of this law. According to the statement, all pure samples of the same compound contain the same elements combined in same proportion by mass. Uh, this is looking slightly tricky, but in actual, it is very simple statement and a very simple law. Let's have a look at the statement once again. All pure samples of the same compound contain the same elements combined in same proportion by mass. Let's divide this statement in two parts. First is this one, and the second statement starts from second part starts from here. Uh, let's have a look at the first part of statement. All pure samples of the same compound. That means we are talking about a particular compound: water, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, glucose, or any other compound. All the pure samples of the same compound contain the same elements. What is the meaning of this line? That if we are talking about water, it will always contain hydrogen and oxygen, irrespective of the source. Whether we obtain water from ground, uh, from rain, or we synthesize this in laboratory, it will always contain hydrogen and oxygen. Similarly, carbon dioxide will always contain carbon and oxygen. Glucose will always contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Sulfur dioxide will always contain sulfur and oxygen. That means a particular compound always contains particular elements. That is, compound contain the same elements. Is that clear to you? Okay. Uh, now let's have a look at the second part. That means combined in same proportion by mass. All pure samples of the same compound contain the same element. Same elements. Combined in same proportion by mass. Now what is the meaning of second statement? First of all, uh, let's have a look at this example. We know that water is always formed by combination of hydrogen and oxygen. But there is another molecule, another compound, which is composed of hydrogen and oxygen only. And that is, yes, hydrogen peroxide. Similarly, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Both are formed by combination of carbon and oxygen only. Then what is the difference between these two? What is the difference between these two? All pure samples of the same compound contain the same element. That's right. Water will always contain hydrogen and oxygen. But there is another compound which contains hydrogen and oxygen. That is hydrogen peroxide. Then what is the difference between these two? Yes, the difference is in the number of atoms. That is, there are two atoms of oxygen in hydrogen peroxide while only one atom of oxygen in water. So the, so the difference is in the number of atoms or we can say in the ratio of number of atoms or in terms of mass we can say the, uh, in the ratio of mass of the elements. The ratio of mass means in what if we see water molecule There are two, hydro, two atoms of hydrogen, that means the mass is 2 gram, while the mass there is one atom of oxygen of 16 gram, so the ratio is 1 ratio 8. While in case of hydrogen peroxide, there are two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen, so the ratio of masses is uh, 2 ratio 32. That is 1 ratio 16. So the difference is in the ratio of masses. So the second part states that for a particular element, the number of element is uh, the uh, the name of the element which combine together is same. That means hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, all pure samples of the same compound contain the same element that means water molecule will always contain hydrogen and oxygen and that is also in a fixed ratio. Hydrogen and oxygen always combine in a ratio of 1 ratio 8 by mass that is the ratio of masses of the two elements is always fixed. It will be always like 1 ratio 8. For water molecule, if there is another molecule which is formed by the combination of same element then it will differ by the, these ratio of 
masses for a particular element for a particular molecule the elements are fixed and the ratio by mass in which they combine is also fixed no other element no other compound which is formed by combination of hydrogen and oxygen will have this ratio other than water only water is a molecule formed by combination of, of hydrogen and oxygen which has the ratio of 1 ratio 8 of hydrogen and oxygen by mass if uh, water uh, hydrogen peroxide is another molecule which is com formed by combination of same elements hydrogen and oxygen but in that case the ratio of mass is this difference that is 1 ratio 16 this ratio this ratio by mass is always fixed for a particular element for a particular compound uh, let's take example of uh, carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is formed by combination of carbon and oxygen there is one atom of carbon that means the mass is 12 g atomic mass of carbon is 12 there are two atoms of oxygen mass of one atom of oxygen is 16 then the mass of two atoms will be 32 so the ratio of the masses of the elements combined to form carbon dioxide is 12 ratio 32 or 3 ratio 8 there is another molecule which is formed by combination of carbon and oxygen only that is carbon monoxide but in this case what is the ratio of masses That is, for carbon, it is 12. One atom for car of carbon, so the mass will be 12, and one atom of oxygen, so the mass will be 16. Now the ratio is 3 ratio 4. They both differ in the ratio by masses. Although they both are uh, the both molecules are uh, uh, formed by combination of same elements, they differ in the ratio of masses of the element. This was. the law of constant proportion according to which all pure samples of the same compound all the samples of carbon monoxide or all, all the samples of carbon dioxide or all the samples of carbon monoxide will contain the same elements obviously carbon dioxide is always formed of carbon and oxygen carbon monoxide is also formed of carbon and oxygen but they combine in same proportion by mass that means for particular compound Say carbon dioxide, there will be a fixed and particular ratio in which carbon and oxygen is combining by mass. That is, three ratio eight. For carbon dioxide, for carbon monoxide, again there is a fixed ratio. That is, three ratio four. For hydrogen, for water, there uh, there is a different ratio. For hydrogen peroxide, there will be a different ratio. For every molecule of a compound, for every compound, the ratio of masses of the element. Which are combining to form that compound will be fixed, constant. A water molecule always contain hydrogen and oxygen combined in ratio one ratio eight. A carbon dioxide molecule always contain carbon and oxygen combined in ratio three ratio eight by mass. Carbon monoxide always contain. carbon and oxygen atoms combined in a ratio of 3 ratio 4 by mass this is the law of constant proportion or definite proportion proportion is ratio all pure samples of the same compound contain the same elements combined in same proportion by mass this is the law of constant proportion i hope it is clear to you in our next video we will discuss about law of reciprocal proportion